Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Spring Frameworks, Spring Data, JP Repository support. And especially, I'm going to talk about delete method. See, Spring Data is is used for helping us in the DAO layer, database layer. So, it generates a lot of code for crude operations, create, retrieve, update, and delete. Delete operations, it's, Spring generates a lot of code for us. We don't have to write the boilerplate code. What is boilerplate code? I'll show you an example. Before using Spring, we were using code like this in the try catch uh, block. So we have to get the connection, we have to create the statement, execute the statement, and get iterate all the result sets. And we have to take care of these closing connections and everything. So this is boilerplate code. In order to avoid this, Spring data has introduced JP repository, which is really useful I'll show you JP repository how it looks like so I have an entity called hotel I want to persist the hotel object in my database and hotel repository is the one which is good to handle all this entity I have to do only I have to extend from the JP repository and I have to give the entity and the identifier data type that's all so behind the scene the spring is going to generate code for, for all these methods i'll show you what are the methods it's going to by default it's going to generate code for all these methods can you see this all these methods are supported by this api repository we don't have to write any code for this just we have to extend from this interface we have to extend from this interface so spring framework will do the rest and we have to auto wire this hotel repository just now I showed you this hotel repository in our service layer and start calling delete method find one method save method find all so in this demo I'm going to show you how, how exactly this delete method is going to work okay I have auto wired and I'm going to call this delete method okay this delete method implementation I didn't write at, at all I didn't write any code at all. I've just extended from the JP repository, which is from the Spring framework. So behind the scene, they are going to generate code for us. So this is the advantage of using Spring data, JP repository. And one more point I just want to mention here, you have to add this annotation in a Java config file, enable JP repositories, okay? Otherwise your JP repository will not work. So let me debug and show you this code, how exactly it's going to work. I'm going to start this. In my table, I don't have anything. This is a hotel table. I don't have any row. Now, I'm going to start my application. And I'm going to create a row. Then I will use the JPA repositories delete. So JP repository provides basic functionality. Apart from this, you can also add your own customized uh, queries. That's called named query. You can write your own query for methods. It has started now. I'm going to create a hotel now. I just want to execute this uh, and show you. Can you see this? One hotel entry has been created. Hotel touch. Okay, now using JP repository, I'm going to delete this. So this is the one I was talking about. This is the proxy object injected by the Spring framework, and this delete method implementation was done by the Spring framework. I didn't write the code for this method at all. I didn't write any code. I've just extended from the Spring Framework JPA repository interface. That's all. Now, when I do this delete, the hotel row will be deleted from my database. Can you see this? Yes, it has been deleted. This is how you can use JPA repository in your application. Hope this video is useful and informative. Thank you and all the best.